Hello YouTube, my name is Rachel Mayo. Welcome to my channel and thank you for being here. A couple of months ago, I did a video on how to use terapeptase to unblock your fallopian tubes and to clear adhesions. I have to say thank you very much because it is one of my most watched video and got a lot of likes and a lot of subscribers as well. So if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. And if you left a comment, Thank you for your comment and questions. I answer all comments and questions in a timely manner. So since there were a lot of questions, I decided to do a video to answer all the comments or questions that were left in the comment section. And if you have any more new questions about how to use serapeptase, its reactions and dosage, please leave them in the comment section below this video. At the end of this video, I'm going to leave the comments from viewers who had success using serapeptase. I did two very detailed videos on this topic. So please do watch my videos on serapeptase. I will link them below this video. But women who have been dealt this diagnosis need to know there's other ways that they can help themselves. So please share, like, and subscribe. This is how YouTube will get this video to as many people as possible. Again, thank you so much Let's go ahead and address the questions. The most commonly asked question is where can you buy serapeptase? I did leave a link in the description area for you to purchase serapeptase from Amazon. You can also buy serapeptase at your local GNC or any health food store. If you're in a foreign country, my suggestion is do a Google search and see where it's available and see if Amazon could perhaps ship it out to you. If Amazon or any other stores do not ship out to your country, perhaps ask a friend to purchase it for you. I personally do not sell this product, so I'm unable to give you any more advice on where to get it if you're not in a country that has access to Amazon. Another viewer asked, can I take it during my period? answer is yes you can when a woman is having her cycle the body is already naturally cleaning itself out so taking serapeptase will only enhance the clearing of all the debris and all the dead cells in your reproduct in your reproductive system serapeptase only cleans out dead tissue non-living tissue so yes it is safe for you to take at any time during your cycle However, if you take it during your cycle, you might notice that your cycle might be a lot heavier or you may get some clots since serapeptase is enhancing the self-cleaning action that is already going on while your body is self-cleaning during your menstrual cycle. Is it safe to take during ovulation? Yes, you can take serapeptase during ovulation. It's not going to affect your ovulation in any way. Serapeptase actually increase serapeptase actually increases blood flow to your reproductive system. So you taking serapeptase consistently will help you to have better flow to your ovaries. That way you're going to produce more eggs and a better quality of eggs. Good blood flow and circulation is very important for your ovaries. Another viewer asked, does it clear hydrosalpinx? I'm not a medical doctor, so I will just briefly explain this. Hydrosalpinx is a blockage of the fallopian tubes. This, this is the type of blockage that is filled with water and that water is called biofilm. It, healthy tubes are not supposed to have water or biofilms inside them. This biofilm is going to cause inflammation in your fallopian tubes. Your tubes are going to swell and have a sausage-like shape. The sausage-like shape and the biofilm will block the egg will block the egg and the sperm from meeting. If you watch the other videos, I gave much more detailed information about this condition. Hydrosalpinx of the fallopian tubes is actually one of the harder diagnosis to cure. So you might need other therapies like castor oil. I did a video on that, so I'm not going to explain what castor oil packs do. Watch the video. And you might need to take antibiotics to clear the infection. If you, don't, if you can't get a prescription for antibiotics, then I suggest you watch the other video that I did on the other three herbs that you can use to clear your fallopian tubes. The other herbs you can use are echinacea. Echinacea has an antimicrobial effect. It acts as a natural antibiotic. 
Golden seal is the other herb. It has a similar action and also reduces inflammation. Kumquai is another herb that you can use to reduce inflammation and it also acts on your lymphatic drainage that helps to drain the fluids out of your fallopian tubes. So I highly suggest you watch these videos. I'm going to leave the links in the description area. Should I take serapeptase if I'm going for a laparoscopy surgery? That's lap surgery. Yes, you can take serapeptase, just make sure to stop taking it two weeks before the surgery because serapeptase has a blood thinning effect. So if you go into surgery and you continue taking your serapeptase, it's very, it's very possible that you could bleed out. So you don't want to go to surgery with thin blood. Another viewer asked if she could take serapeptase for bilateral occlusion. Yes, you can. Serapeptase has an action on dead non-living tissue. So wherever it is, whether it's in one tube or both tubes, it's still going to act on those dead living, th those dead tissues or non-living cells. Another viewer asked, I have adhesions in my tubes. Will serapeptase help me? Yes, it will. Adhesions in the fallopian tubes are actually much easier for serapeptase to clear because its action of eating away dead non-living tissue is very efficient. A lot of women who have blockage due to adhesions can easily clear the tube can easily clear their tubes within a couple of months. Would you recommend serapeptase for an ovarian cyst? Yes, I would. An ovarian cyst is not a normal part of your reproductive organs. So yes, serapeptase will go in there and it is going to dissolve that ovarian cyst. How long it takes depends on how large the cyst is and how consistent you are in taking serapeptase. A viewer left this comment. She says she's been taking serapeptase for a month and today sh she passed a tissue with a small amount of blood. She says she has adhesions and she takes six pills a day. Serapeptase is very efficient at clearing and dissolving adhesions in your fallopian tubes. The tissue that this viewer expelled is non-living tissue, which, which serapeptase dissolved and the only way out is going to come out through your reproductive system. So yes, it's very likely that you'll see dead non-living tissue being expelled either being expelled during your menstrual cycle or at other times. This should not alarm you. Watch my other video on serapeptase. I give an exact description of what you should expect and how your blood flow is going to change during your cycle when you start using serapeptase and what to watch out for. Another viewer asked this question. She wanted to know if she should use serapeptase after she ovulated. Yes, you can use serapeptase after ovulation. If you're actively trying to get pregnant, you should stop when you get a positive pregnancy test. Although some studies show that some women have taken serapeptase successfully throughout their first trimester, but this is a personal decision. If you're unsure about the effects of serapeptase, I suggest that you stop when you get your positive pregnancy test. Another viewer asked, how many serapeptase should I take? I've heard of people taking as much as 10 or as much as you can afford to take. But this is not something that you just start taking a large dose from your first dose. Serapeptase is something that you build in your system slowly. Do not underestimate the efficacy of serapeptase and its power and ability to dissolve non-living tissue and biofilms out of your fallopian tubes. If you slowly build serapeptase in your system, you can take probably up to 10 a day. Of course, spread out, maybe five in the morning and five before you go to sleep. Athletes have been known to take serapeptase in very high doses. They use it to reduce inflammation and swelling after an injury. So it is safe to take in high doses. However, as I said before, just be careful to have a slower buildup in your system. Do not underestimate this little miraculous enzyme. So stay consistent, take your serapeptase, drink a lot of water and explore my channel, you will see that I have a lot of videos dedicated to this subject. If I haven't addressed any questions that you have, please feel free to leave your question or your comment in the description area. Two viewers left their comments of positive outcomes with serapeptase. One viewer said, I use serapeptase to get my irregular period back to normal 
I used it for two months. That's wonderful. I love to hear success stories. So yes, serapeptase can also be used to regulate your menstrual cycle or to reduce pain during your period. This is another positive comment from another viewer. It works very well for adhesions because I've taken it before and my adhesions are cleared. So as you can see from other viewer comments, serapeptase works miraculously on adhesions. It also works on hydrosalpinks. However, however, it might take you a little bit longer if you have hydrosalpinks. And if you're paying attention to what I've said, so you should be using other herbs and methods to help clear your fallopian tubes. I hope this was helpful and if there's any more questions that you may have, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thank you so much for being a subscriber and if you're not a subscriber, I hope that you will subscribe and I hope that you found this information useful. Please press like, share this video and subscribe.